let's start uh, creating a storage pool with PowerShell. First is to see what the disks are available. These are a get, what physical disk. Physical disk. I have four physical disks here and uh, three of them can be pulled. So let's just uh, list only the can pool true. Yes, this lists only the three of these disks, but I also want to get rid of this unspecified because I don't want to include this only the two Evo plus uh, disks into my pool. How to do this? Use the pipe character as where media type dash eq uh, ssd here you go. This is the this I want to create a pool for them. The way to do that is create a variable. Oh, it's it's easier just to bring back this command and then disks equal and then now I have a variable with these two mm, disks and now just create a new a storage pool the command is new storage pool friendly name I just name it NVMe pool because I include only my NVMe SSD disks. Okay, and the storage subsystem is storage subsystem friendly name. Here I use Windows Windows Storage Star Storage Subsystem Friendly Name Windows Storage and then uh, for the list of physical disk that is physical disks uh, I use the variable disks okay I think uh, for now this uh, would be completely fine I could have also included additional parameters something like provisioning type default fixed and resil resiliency setting name default but these parameters can be defined when I'm creating the virtual disk. So let's just uh, create it this way. Here you go. A uh, pool was created and then immediately Let me just open again a Mary. This pool is, is also visible, but weird, it's not enough, unfortunately. Whatever way I wanted to create, practically this user interface is, is, is unusable to do any, any job here. So that's why let's just continue uh, with the PowerShell. So now we have a storage pool. And the next step is, uh, to create a virtual disk. 
actually these are the two components and oh, no. we have physical disks now I created a pool and upon that pool I'm creating a physical disk actually this oh, sorry virtual disk and this virtual disk is going to be a raid uh, a software raid uh, disk or virtual disk uh, with uh, simple as raid zero and there is uh, the mirror and also there is a parity which is a RAID 5 or something like that. For me, this, because these are very high uh, speed, uh, high reliability, high reliable NVMe SSD disks, I simply use the uh, RAID 0, that is, mm, yes, RAID 0. Okay, how to create then a new virtual disk? Uh, yes, so that is on the operating system. There is no such a thing as a, a storage space. The storage space is possibly a marketing term. And then here we have physical disks, uh, storage pools and uh, virtual disks. New virtual disk okay a friendly name let me just give it a name like nvme space and uh, let me use use um, maximum size and then storage pool storage pool friendly name here I use NVMe pool and then what else Okay, and this is the point where I want to define the type of my uh, disk, which is resiliency setting name, and I use simple. This is the rate zero. The others I could use uh, here were uh, parity and uh, mirror okay this is simple and then I also want to define the mm, provisioning type the provisioning type I want to use fixed that is all the maximum size should be allocated. Let's see how it works. New virtual disk, friendly name, NVMe, space, use maximum size, storage pool, friendly name, NVMe pool, resiliency setting, a name, simple provisioning type fixed. Okay, and now again when I'm coming back, uh, the storage space spaces are visible here however format is not going to work because uh, this is just a virtual disk it is not initialized so let's initialize this disk first so initial ah hold on for a second we can also have a look disk uh, create and format hard disk partitions. I think this is the point. Yes, here you go. You must initialize a disk before logical. I guess this is the point where we don't have to use anymore the uh, command line utility. I mean the PowerShell uh, because uh, now uh, I can use simply the disk manager to initialize this virtual disk and then uh, format it because these are the create a party sorry initialize it 
uh, create a partition and then format and then it it's going to be done so let's do it uh, this way here then so initialize it okay okay so here is my uh, space and then just uh, new simple volume this is actually create a uh, partition yeah and also immediately it assigns an letter okay not e let's use the letter n and also format it as uh, n v sorry n v m e v disk practically uh, that was it and then when coming here uh, I can click and I can also create a new folder and uh, yeah possibly I could do whatever I want in this uh, virtual disk um, practically that was it so as a recap let's come back uh, to the commands mm, so okay the first step was to get a list of the physical disks I wanted to include into this pool because I didn't want I didn't want to include every poolable uh, physical disks so that's why I use this uh, query to filter in only the SSD disks then the next command this was just listing the next command was to create actually the pool the new storage pool friendly name just give it a name and storage subsystem friendly name so this uh, so when 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 we want to see uh, get storage subsystem so this is the only storage subsystem so we could uh, enter windows storage on t7910 this is the full name so that's why it was uh, enough just storage subsystem friendly name windows storage because this is the only possibly w would have worked perfectly fine either so when after we had the storage pool uh, actually that is was the point when these disks disappeared completely even the disk manager didn't see any uh, of these drives anymore any any physical disk anymore so that's why this new virtual disk is terribly important e, therefore the friendly name yes just create uh, nvme uh, space my name it's any name use maximum size storage pool friendly name nvme pool uh, the, you, yes because this disk was built upon this pool and the resiliency setting was simple that is rate zero and the provisioning type fixed be and after that that was practically the last command because then 
the next steps could have been done with the graphical user interface. So, uh, what was interesting in this series is that I have these two uh, NVMe um, disks in my Asus Hyper M.2 uh, card, a PCI card, and now uh, I can use them as a RAID 0 software pool solution.